underrated virtuoso guitar player is Sean Lang. Although now Sean's light is growing, thanks to social media, for years he was a relatively quiet and unknown player, especially when compared to some of the juggernauts of the 80s and 90s. Sean first broke onto the scene in Memphis as the lead guitarist for Black Oak, Arkansas at only 14 years of age. From there he reappeared in the mid-80s with his band The Willies. While playing for The Willies it was said the legendary Billy Gibbons fell off his stool listening to Sean's playing. While an onstage duel with Ted Nugent left the star's jaw hanging. Sean's playing was so dynamic, as were his tastes in music. And this was evident by the transition Sean had from early days rock speed machine through to playing a more eastern style alongside Jonas Helborg and Vissel Vajanes. A video like this can never fully show the skill and musicality of Sean Lane, so we leave you with a quote from Guthrie Govan on Sean. There will never be another Sean. But the one thing we can all learn from him is, if you must play fast, play good stuff fast. Sean sadly passed away on September 26, 2003. A genius lost, but not forgotten. Here are some of his best bits.
next underrated virtuoso on the list is Michael Romeo. Although highly rated among fans of the band Symphony X, Romeo, similar to Sean Lay, doesn't seem to get the accolades of others who he could comfortably hold his own with. What stands out for us is the sheer effortlessness and fluidity with which Romeo plays. The licks, tricks, note selection, melody, and speed all executed perfectly, with little fuss, often compared to Malmsteen due to some neoclassical influence. In our view, Romeo strays outside of the neoclassical style to give us a great blend of styles from neoclassical to modern progressive metal. With plenty albums under his belt with Symphony X, Romeo has released more solo material over the last four to five years. Let's look at some of his best bits. <laughs>
third underrated virtuoso on the list is Simone Mollaroni from the band DGM, an Italian progressive metal band. Formed as far back as 1994, Mollaroni joined DGM in 2006 and is still present in the band today. The first time we heard DGM was back in 2016, and Mollaroni's solos feel like a hybrid of modern Symphony X and Dream Theater. With clean lines, fantastic string bends, flawless technique, and above all else a feeling of emotion in the playing, we were soon using Google to find out who this guitarist was. Here are some clips. Fourth underrated virtuoso on the list is Ron Bumblefoot Thal. Thal, born September 1969, is an extremely accomplished musician. He is probably most known for his stint with Guns N' Roses between 2006 and 2014. However, fans of virtuoso guitar will likely know him more from his Mike Varney solo days. Thal's creativity stands him out from the crowd, and images of him holding the famous Swiss cheese guitar give us the perfect insight into his early playing style. Not only is Thal an incredibly creative, technically gifted guitar player, he is also hilarious. He received high praise from Mike Varney, who was quoted as saying, Thal's demo tape is amongst the most impressive I have ever received. Ron's sheer musicality will surely gain him much acclaim, in 1993, Guitar Network magazine described Thal's playing as ridiculous, but in a good way. Let's take a look at some of Thal's best bits.
Our fifth and final virtuoso on the list is Greg Howe, another virtuoso who started off after sending a demo tape to Mike Varney. Howe has released 10 studio albums and featured in numerous bands including How To and Mora Gold. Howe makes our list due to his dynamic style, mixing funk, soul, fusion, rock and neoclassical into a playing style that has real feel. Like Ron Thal, Hal played with a number of huge pop stars throughout his career. Hal has played for stars such as Christina Aguilera, Rihanna, P. Diddy, Enrique Iglesias, and Justin Timberlake. Hal also replaced Jennifer Batten on the Asian and European leg of the Michael Jackson History World Tour. This deep experience in session playing alongside multiple solo albums showed that Hal is a force to be reckoned with. Here are some of his best bits. For watching we appreciate your time and we would love to hear in the comments if you think there are other underrated virtuoso guitarists our top five is our opinion i'm sure you guys and gals have others we can take a look at don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon don't stop shredding